Well, how are you guys? Uh, I worked a little bit late last night. I didn't mind. It's, you know, in the studio. That's why I set it up. Okay, uh, I'm working on the bracelet. And it's already out the door. Somebody already spoke for it. Thank you, Norm. Um, beautiful piece. A lot of, lot of hand working into it. So it's a lot of sh uh, studio time, shop time, and uh, materials. So beautiful piece. I'm, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Really. And it's got the nice... But anyways, we're... We're setting gems in it. We, I am. So there's a couple gems in the back here. Remember what I said? They're going to be on your... Huh. They're going to be on your... On, I mean, nobody's going to see them, but you're going to know they're there. And then eyes. I'm putting eyes in there. And so what you do is you... try to explain it best I can so it's called a setting burr it's a, a 90 90 degree burr so the angle the, the angle that meets here on the edge is 90 degrees okay so I go in I go in and under so the the stone slides in underneath the eyebrow and the cheek line I just kind of cleat it up so that the stone. Uh, what do we got right here? Look at this one here. It looks nice. I wonder if that goes in there on a bit of an angle. This is wax. This little stick is wax and charcoal. Oh, that's beautiful. Yep. And then, so this edge is actually above the stone. So you take a little hand piece, a Fordham hand piece. It's got like a little jackhammer. And uh, you find yourself a comfortable spot to put this on. I mean, I could have all sorts of, I have all sorts of blocks and uh, holders and stuff like that. But sometimes just holding it is, you know, having your regular piece up and just holding it in place. And you got to get your fingernail on there to hold the stone down so it doesn't pop out. And then just... In one spot, bend the eyebrow, not the eyebrow, but the cheek line over onto the stone. And, and making sure you don't hit the stone with the hammer. And there we go. That's in there. And then if you want, where's a cutter? maybe a flat or a round one, and you just kind of clean off. The extra. So you have a nice eyeball line. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna keep working on this. I'm gonna redarken it, repolish it, and then uh, I'm gonna give you a call and you can pick up your bracelet.